Glowforge is amazing, but it does have one exhausting problem. What's up? I'm Jonathan and welcome to Maker Tales, where I'm sharing my maker journey to help you go further in yours. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell icon to never miss an opportunity to keep making. Yes, the Glowforge is a great laser cutter. So far, when it comes to cutting quality, I would say it's one of the best I've ever used. However, one of the very key things of any laser is maintenance, especially when it comes to cleaning. So getting right to the crook of the problem, the Glowforge is extremely compact, and with such compactness comes a huge downfall in accessibility. If you're watching this, there is a good chance that you've had a Glowforge for a few months and have noticed a buildup on your exhaust fan, or maybe even a few years and have been battling with this problem on and off, trying all types of awkward solutions to clean that exhaust fan, but never getting quite the desired outcome of getting that fan looking good as new. Before I go any further, I need to point out right now that what I'm about to show you is not Glowforge approved. However, in my eyes, I would say it's easier and perhaps even safer than their current solution. To see the official Glowforge, exhaust fan cleaning solution, please check the link in the description. Lastly, and unfortunately for you Glowforge Pro users, this guide is not going to be of much help as you have a giant heatsink in the way. However, for you Glowforge Basic and Glowforge Plus users, here we go. To be able to clean your fan really well, we're going to need to remove it from the Glowforge. To do this, you're going to need a two millimeter hex ball end Allen key, plus a little secret custom tool that I'll reveal later on when it's time to put your fan back into place. So watch this video in full before trying this yourself. If you don't have a ball end Allen key, I strongly recommend the investment. I tried for two hours without one to no success to be able to do what I can do now with in five minutes with a ball end. In other words, it's almost impossible without a ball end Allen key. Now with the correct tool, let me try and help guide you through the maze that is fan removal. First and most importantly, unplug your Glowforge from the wall. Now let's head into the back left side of the Glowforge. Here you will find your Glowforge exhaust fan secured by four screws. The top two screws are very easy. You can just undo them, pull them out and keep them somewhere safe. Now the challenge begins. Starting with the bottom left screw, align the Allen ball hex key to the center of the screw. Once the key is in the screw, lower the angle down to as shallow as you can to then undo the screw. Once undone, you will need to take the screw out to be able to remove the fan. To remove this screw, pull it as far out as it goes until it hits a little stub on the base of the Glowforge enclosure. At this point, you need to push the screw head to the right to be able to pull out the screw on the right hand side of that stub. It can be a little fiddly, but this is the easiest point of entry for this screw. Three down, one to go. This last one is exactly the same as the bottom left one, apart from the removal process. Find the center with the key, lower the angle and undo. Once undone, and once again, you're going to have to pull out this screw to be able to remove the fan. So what you're going to do is pull out the screw until you hit a little stub that again is on the base of the Glowforge enclosure. And once again, you're going to push the head of the screw to the right. However, this time you are also going to grab the fan and give it the slightest of rotations counterclockwise to be able to help the screw come out on the right hand side of the stub. Once you have removed all the screws, it's time to unplug your fan. While doing this, be gentle and make sure you press the release clip on the plug. I'm not going to guide you on how to clean laser gunk. However, please keep safe. Use a mask, gloves and any other protection you think is necessary. One thing I will tell you is don't let the fan spin freely at high speed while cleaning it, as there is a high possibility of frying the internal circuit board if you do let this happen. Now with our good as new fan in hand, let's reinstall it. 
The steps are relatively the same as the removal process, but reversed. And with a little secret custom tool, which are these 3D printed screw guides. These guides are needed to reinstall the bottom two screws, as it's almost impossible to align the screws with the fan mount without being able to see them. Trust me, I know, I tried for two hours before I made these guides. So, with these guides in hand, let's install them onto the fan before putting the fan into the Glowforge. They are both exactly the same and pressure fit into place. The bottom right hand one stays flush to the fan and the bottom left hand one comes out a little bit on the bottom left. The key thing here is to make sure that the holes align. When it comes to the installation, you're starting with the bottom right one first. I, you can't really put this in with the screw already in because there isn't space between the nub and the screw hole to have the screw in to be able to drop this in and then press it again. So you have to put the screw while it goes in. So you put this down in, you push this into position, then you grab your screw and what you're doing is you're going from the right, coming in from the right, you go in at an angle, you remember that you twist this fan, you carry on pushing it in, you get past the nub, you can then twist the fan back, you then push this screw this way, because it presses against the 3D print, and then you push it to the end, and that there will be reaching where it needs to tighten. Now, usually I just spin this with my thumb a little bit just so it bites and then I go back small edit then I put in the two top screws to carry on putting in the two bottom with this one remember you're coming at it from an angle a shallow angle like this because it's a ball you'll be able to still twist it when you're at that angle Let's get you a closer look there Because it's a ball hex, you'll still be able to twist it at that angle, and then that's how you tighten it up. Remember, only use two fingers, it doesn't have to be nuclear tight, because this is only plastic. And the same with the other side. This time round, you have the nub right here, you're coming at it from the right, it will stick out from the left, you go past the nub, then you can pull it back to go into the channel and then go back to tighten it up. With all that done, you now have a method to remove, clean and reinstall your exhaust fan in minutes. All useful links are in the description and the 3D printable file is free to download for the next three months and is forever available for my patrons. However, if you don't have a 3D printer and still want to get a hold of these guides, I'm offering a place where you can buy them where they are created by me in the description too. A huge thank you to my patrons as you guys are awesome. I really hope this came in handy. Thanks for watching, keep making, and let the quest continue.